paperboard types. So, I was already depressed, right? And then I made the mistake of going online. And in case y'all don't know, the internet is the depression capital of the world, okay? So, if you want to stay depressed, stay on the internet. And forget that before the internet, there were real people doing real things. Now, you don't have to tell me that we don't know what reality is anyway, okay? I'm well aware of this, but people really don't know what reality is now. I feel like I'm living in like five different worlds. So I have my work life at the restaurant, then I have comedy. Then I have my church people. Then I have the internet, which is like, like I said, a non-reality, okay? And then there's just little me. Is that four or five? I don't remember, I lost count. Because my attention span is also shot to hell. But to shoot this video because it really bothers me how many people soak up lies and bullshit in this country. It really bothers me how many people look up to rapists and liars and total hypocrites, okay? I'm not going to name names. Like I've said, there's, there's no point because none of these people are, are going down, okay? I think that Donald Trump is the president to prove that everything in this world is a lie, okay? Donald Trump is not who he says he is, and neither is anybody else, okay? They choose to focus on Trump, people that hate him rather, they choose to focus on him because they can't accept the fact that the world that we live in, this country, everything is just one example of deception after another. And people are totally fine with that if they agree with the deception. I mean, a lot of people that are mad about the whole critical race theory, it's like they're totally fine being taught lies and bullshit as long as their race is upheld or their idea of what this country is is upheld, okay? People don't mind being lied to because it comforts them. They can cuddle up with it, go to sleep. So, you know that, that uh, very famous critique that George Carlin made of this country in relation to the American dream, he said that the reason why they called the American dream is because you have to be asleep to believe it. Um, yeah, for sure. People get very, very upset if you disagree with their little ideology. They want to talk endlessly about, you know, how like the whole LGBT or whatever the fuck, they are like totally out of their fucking minds. Honey, everybody is crazy now. Like I said, they would be. Everybody is crazy. Social media has proven that everybody's crazy and people are fine with it. They're fine with their version of crazy. And look who's telling you this. Fucking disorganized schizophrenic. If you want proof of that, I have it. I have it, have it right here for you, okay? Have it right here. This is disorganized schizophrenia. You know what? If I can own what I am, 
I can be whatever I want. Most of these people can't own it. See, I'm not trying to sell this though. I'm not trying to convince anybody of anything really. I just want people to like do better, man. I want people to like live up to their potential. You're not gonna be able to live up to your potential if all you do is sit around and listen to podcasts, dude. Or like you watch TikTok videos or, you know, like, what, what are you doing? Like, what is the point? What is the point of continuing on? If like all you're doing is watching TV, like you should just commit suicide. And I'm not joking. It's like all that all that life is now is this. Like, or like I'm just gonna sit in front of my computer and play video games. And I know this is redundant. This is redundant because life is redundant. You know? Life is redundant, the world is redundant. People act like this stuff is so extreme. It's, it's really not. It's really not. It's just that the technology is exposing how extreme people are. How extreme people want to be. And you know, I, I know this for myself. I know this from like doing stand-up comedy in front of people that claim that they like me and then I and I do a joke that they, they're not cool with and then all of a sudden like I'm dead to them okay it's the same thing with YouTube it's the same thing with you know reality or whatever it's like people are so quick to disassociate from somebody because they say the wrong thing but if they do the wrong thing like if they literally rape somebody, they rape somebody, or they beat somebody's ass, or like, you know, they, they support people that are that do really, really bad things. It's like, people just turn a blind eye to that kind of stuff. Like why would, why should anybody take it, be taken seriously? Like anybody online, dude. These people are all tools. They're all tools that, that help this, this little communist machine just, just keep working swimmingly well, okay? The communist, socialist, capitalist, fascist machine. It's all the same shit. People want a hero and they want a villain. And people are, are, don't have any idea who they are and so they have to go along with certain things that, that make them think that they know who they are. Because none of these motherfuckers will ever leave their house without their phone. You know, they'll never just go out and take a walk and talk to God. Because nobody ever taught them they could do that. These people are so, like, grossly out of touch with their spirit. It's not funny. It's, it's really not funny. I mean, most of these people are going to burn in hell, dude. Whatever that is, they're not going to a good place after they die, let's just say that, okay? Because they don't know God. They can talk about God all day, but they don't know God. They don't know God because they don't know themselves. And that really is the saddest thing because that's literally like why you're on the planet. Get off the internet. Figure out what you want. Figure out what you love. Don't associate with anybody. People are so afraid of being alone. They have to be with themselves.